Uh, what the t taser device does for us um, is it basically mimics the brain waves or electrical impulses that um, our bodies use just to move, um, talk, eat. Um, the digital pulse that comes out of the taser uh, is the exact same pulse that we use inside our bodies. It confuses our brain, uh, in particular the uh, central nervous system. Um, it causes it to lock up and get overloaded. Uh, that way it incapacitates the individual and, and they're unable to move or continue being violent with us. Basically, um, what we did with you, uh, we used alligator clips. Uh, one alligator clip, you always want to split the hemispheres. Uh, the hemisphere being at the waistline. Uh, so if one of the probes can be uh, inserted to the leg, uh, one above the belt line, you get a better effect because you're, you're affecting um, not only the legs of the individual, but also the upper torso. Uh, what happened with you is they're just alligator clips, still gives you, delivers you the same shock as it would with a probe. Um, and what you experienced was called NMI or neuromuscular incapacitation. Count down from 10. That's too long. Count down from 10. Breathe, 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 breathe. Taser in three, two, one. Was it better or worse than you expected? It was worse. I never want to be tased. It was only for one second. I can't imagine being tased for five seconds, and I think that's usually what they do. One second was enough. These are in three, two, one. Wow. All right, walk away. Three, two, one.